As a child, I was subjected to the wrong ways to remove a tick because my parents didn't really know any better. Um, so it's not recommended to try to smother them with Vaseline or to light a cigarette or a match while they're still attached to your body because they literally are anchored and cemented into your skin or to the animal's skin. And on their mouth parts, they have these little backwards facing hooks. So think like a super fish hook. That is gonna prevent them from being easily pulled out. And most of us have struggled with removing a tick and find it a little bit difficult. The best way is to get a really good pair of forceps and to pinch that tick as close to the skin as you can. So even those big fat gray ones, you can still get underneath there and get really close to the skin and just patiently just pull it steadily backwards. It's not recommended really to twist them or to jerk at them or bend them. Um, that might break off their mouth parts because those are what are actually in your skin, cemented into your skin. Some people like to squeeze them with their fingers, but think about our fingers and how fat they really are compared to a nice pair of tweezers or forceps. So if you squeeze that tick and it's attached, it could still maybe transmit pathogens and by squeezing on it, we may actually kind of promote some of that stuff that's inside that tick to go back into the host. Because ticks don't just attach and suck blood the whole time. They actually back and forth. So they'll suck in some blood, they'll keep the protein that they want, and then they'll actually spit back in and regurgitate what they don't want. And along with that process comes the potential passage of disease. So they can pass those pathogens from their mouth parts into the person or the dog or the cat or the horse or the cow. If they are comfortable with it, they should remove that tick as quickly as possible by using that nice pair of forceps, get it off. And it's recommended to save the tick. So you can save it in a Ziploc baggie. You can save it if you happen to have it, little containers around the house, just put it in the freezer. Um, that way that tick can be tested in the future because we can actually test those ticks to see what pathogens they contained. That tick can be taken to someone who can identify it because different ticks transmit different diseases. Um, so we can get a shorter list of what diseases may be going on in that animal or in that person by looking at the tick and identifying it. If the client's not comfortable, Pulling it off, they can definitely go to the veterinary and they'll assist them in pulling them off. We may want to do some additional testing, keep an eye out for the next week or so for signs of disease like fever, not feeling well, they stop eating, they maybe start limping. Those are pretty consistent with several tick-borne diseases. Um, and there's some good testing that we can perform as we go along in these pets to see if they maybe acquired something from that tick. And if the client found one, there may be others that they don't see.